All right. Uh, Back to part two of the hardcore one. Um, got the kid distracted with Loki for now. Um, not anything major, just uh, watching the kid today um, because the whole uh, he's he's fully recovered now from his heat stroke thing. Um, I still don't know what I'm going to play with this guy. I might go two handed weapon. Um, or dual wheel. I'll probably dual wheel for a little while, but the thing about dual wheel is dual wheel counts against your weapon pull skill, skills a little bit different. Like the, at the beginning, without a weapon pull skill, it's like 25% one hand, 25% off hand, 50% for both hands to fire every time you shoot. Um, then when you get a weapon pull skill, it's like the weapon pull skill slowly squishes this total number, and you get a true percentage of the weapon pull skill up to like 60% weapon pull skill, and then it slowly starts to decrease your total value of weapon pull skills after about 60%. Um, it squishes really weird, I'm not really sure. Um, so I want to go get another copy of Francis, like a higher version of Francis's gun. Um, um, near the foggy bank. At least I'm going to be higher than what I've got now. I was thinking about doing elemental uh, weapon. Uh, yeah, plus two damage. It's a little bit higher level. Not really. The current gun is just a basic. That's why this is a little bit better. Okay, let's go back to town and put a uh, new component on it. Oh, the kitten just pooped. I can smell it. Um, I don't know, like... So the plan I'm thinking about doing is not using weapon pull skill from a class, but instead using a weapon pull skill from uh, just the character. Like, a, like an item weapon pull skill. I might do a class weapon pull skill, but... In that case, it'd be like, um, which class, or not weapon bull skills, so I've got weapon bull skills, so i got, uh, you know, 15 to 20% here, like, or like, uh, 22%, this gets up to 22%, and this gets up to 22%, and these are all elemental, so that's 60% weapon pull skill, so for dual wield, that's actually really good, I wouldn't need another weapon pull skill, but if I get a... Because that would be like the 60% that you need that's perfect for the dual wield weapon thing. And then I could go uh, for a default weapon replacer. Either Demolitionist, Soldier, uh, Shaman, or Oath Keeper. Um, all are pretty good uh, weapon pull skills. Or I could instead go like one or two handed and then pick a... a alternate class based on just buffs I want to add to the thing instead of weapon pool skills. I'm just going to play this for a little while before I decide on the second class, so I'm just going to stick to a single class. Um, so Foggy Bank, I need to go get the shrine, and then go find the shoulders. Like, there's a guaranteed shoulders, kind of like Francis's gun, but for shoulders. Like, a little bit over here, past this whole thing, I think. I can't quite remember where it's at. Off to weapon pull skills in the last patch was pretty nice. So they nerfed some weapons. Well, they they gave some weapons more damage, but nerfed like what they could do, like their utility, and then buffed weapon pull skills because of it.
The other thing about dual wield versus uh, two handed, or like a uh, yeah, like a two handed weapon, is dual wield has that like it's like more animation lock when you shoot. So I'm not sure. But the weapon pull skills, like uh, the Inquisitor weapon pull, like uh, weapon pull skills, are actually designed for dual wields. They fire both weapons to get that weapon pull thing. So it might be better to stick with that. Oh, frozen. I'm gonna select necklace. So I'm not gonna really bother turning it in. You got these rifles. So you can't really kite a lot of times because it holds you in place, even if you're only tapping once. Build an all in elite first. Once I get the shoulder, I'm gonna turn off yellows, I believe. The yellows are just not really worth it at this point. Um Pierce damp, pierce resistance, elemental resistance, that's nice. Cold and acid versus elemental chaos, cold pierce. There's a lot of resistances, that's nice. Uh, retaliation and pierce resistance is nice. What's this one give me? Um, bleeding resistance, vitality resistance, and acid damage, but I don't need any of that. Um, okay. Oh, and I got a, a vitality rifle. That's not bad, actually. If I went righteous fervor, I could went, go vitality righteous fervor with that thing. Um,. I need more spirit, huh? So again, let's pump points into this, and then slowly pushing this. And I want uh, word of renewal because word of renewal gets the um, movement speed. The other thing about having a um, two-handed weapon is you get this, which in increases your energy regeneration and it reduces the skill cooldown of word of renewal. Cold poison. This is better than the resistant silver band. Alright, so we're going to get those shoulders. This gives you total speed too, which is one of the nice things about it. I'm gonna go towards Aura of Censure, because I wanna do like an elemental gun kind of thing. Which means I think probably Demolitionist might be a good one. But if I decide to not use Fire Strike, like go Demolitionist without Fire Strike, would it be worth it to go Demolitionist? Like, wouldn't it be better to go soldier? Well, I'm not sure. Oh, want that potion. Alright, so... There's a small island over here. We're gonna go to... To get those shoulders, like the guaranteed shoulder drops. Um, I wouldn't do this if I wasn't playing hardcore. <laughs> uh, how do I get to that island? Is it this way? It's not this way. It is up. I think it's like up here, right here, I believe. No, but south of that, I can get the, uh, what's it called? The, uh, totem.
Yeah, here it is. Yeah, this little pathway to get to this little island. Where the totem is, actually. Um, let's clear it out first. Alright, this little stump here always drops. It's like right here on the map. North of the slith necklace thing. Like, once you come out of this. Always has these shoulders that drop. And the shoulders are relatively good. Um... Is this better than what I got? This is bleeding and vitality versus pierce. Uh, defensive ability and offensive ability. Percent health. No, my current ones are better than those. Um, I'll put the rifle on my offhand. Save my stats for now. Oh, I also wanted to get my total speed from Jackal. Can't do that yet. I need some attack damage. Unleash his life. I'm gonna go. I might. I'm gonna go turtle first, and then I'll go green to get attack damage, which is life. And then I'll probably figure out what I want to do from there. Elemental Aether. I need Aether for Warden Krieg. And I got some good shoulder pads to drop. Uh, not really though. Not damage I'm doing. Offensive ability, elemental resistance. So Isaac shoulder pads gives you stats, physical resistance, and um, elemental resistance plus two other types. Retaliation is okay too. Mm. Aether fire. I don't need Aether fire. Mm, yeah, those are not good compared to what I've got. Mm. Pervious, pierce bleeding. Mm. Yeah, those rings are not worth it. And I'm also now going to turn off magic items. Okay, so it's, so I want to get, I'm going to put points into Word of Renewal to get the defensive ability and movement speed, but I'm going to do one point in that, and I'm going to just two points in the, the barb, I'm going to take one point in Deadly Aim, just for the critical bonus, and the next time it's going to be one point, two points, as I go. So let's rush through the foggy bank. Try to make it to the next thing. We'll check the easy place if there is no. If the merchant is not here, it does not matter. Ah, the merchant's here. Nice. This playthrough is probably to get to the first warden cellar, like the warden cellar rift. I'll probably stop before I go to Warden Krieg. I want to get my Aether resistance out before I fight Warden Krieg. Um, so I got this. The thing about uh, Warden Krieg is, uh, he does a lot of Aether damage, and you can't really kite him in his second form because he'll just mow you down. He does more damage if you kite him than if you just sit there and face tank him. Like, you need to get out of the way, like when he does his little telegraph moves. He's gonna pretty much stun you every time, but yeah, that's... Ooh. Double rear shoulders. 
Uh, elemental. Nothing. Not really good. Oh wait, that wasn't my double wear. My double wear was this. Oh, this weapon. Meh. Hey, buddy. She got a whip, eh? Okay. Mm. Let me let me pull up Blippi. Let me pull it up. Blippi. Thirty now, how about you? Thirty now, Blippi. Kuchi. Kuchi. Okay, Kuchi. Yaru. Okay, hi. Hi. Yeah, she's not there. Play. Okay. Whippy. Hi, Teddy. Y'all, oh, Whippy. I'm trying to cut out the number of the amount of Blippy he watches, but. Okay. Oh, we got another totem. See totem. Click totem. That's probably how I'm going to die. Um, I just I feel it in my gut. But Almost got enough. Uh, oh, I thought that was gonna be a gun. Uh, no. Mm, Aether Elemental versus Pierce Elemental. Mm, no, Pierce isn't worth it right now. Poison Chaos, Aether Elemental. Aether Elemental is the best right now. Aether Elemental, way more elemental. I lose 10% or 8% health, but gaining that Aether Res is really nice. How much health do I lose? I'm at 1218 versus 1300. I lose 100 health, that's a lot, but I'll keep this for now. Just how I feel. Okay. Yeah, this is a much slower game because. I should have to pay attention. You can't just autopilot. Alright. My single target's really good. I think. It feels like it's pretty good. But my clear is so bad compared to what it would be if I was playing with Word of Pain right now. I gotta be clearing this whole screen right now with Word of Pain. Slith necklaces, am I up to six? Nice. I'm actually get turning this quest. items. My 
my inventory is full. Okay. Nope. All right, so this boss here. I can't carry it anymore. Mm. So I lose elemental and pierce resistance, gain elemental and physical resistance, lose health and physique, gain health and physique, gain casting speed. I don't need casting speed. Okay. Let's run up here. Oh, hello, traveler. Should still have my portal from here. This is relatively close to uh, that guy. It's closer than the uh, rift is. So I'm going to do this, sell some crap, and then go back, basically go f get that uh, thing, and then get all them. I need a new gun. I'm one level from being able to use my damn thing. Oh, I don't have enough space. Let's just uh, sell pretty much everything. I'm sure this one has pretty good resistances on it as well. Now this one has Aether Pierce, not as good as my current one, but it has Cunning and um, no, my current one's better. So this little Primal Ring gives me Poison Vitality Elemental. But I'll lose Aether. Mm. I'll lose 8% Aether to equip this ring. But I'll gain Vitality and Poison. Which I think is worth it. How about this versus my 6 Aether, 6 Chaos, 8 Aether. Mm. Fire Cold. Versus Aether Chaos and Poison. Then we'll keep Aether Chaos Poison. Mm, actually, I don't need Chaos at all. I do need Poison though. Yeah, I'm gonna keep that one. Also, let's give myself some stats. Helmet. Some HP. Armor. Mm, do I have any components I can attach to my necklace? I guess not. Okay. Um, I'm gonna go one physique, one cunning. Hey, buddy. Whippy Chigano. Okay. 
There was an L. There was an L. Am I still lying about? Did it make you want to shout? Whoopee! Put it off. She got no. So go to you. Did you? Okay. Hi, 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 don't keep touching me. I can't change it if you don't touch it. Ah, uh, yeah, go to you. All right. Devotion. Let's finish off Jackal because I get the physical resistance, all damage. Um, and then I can refund this one, and the 5% health is nice. It's not that overall helpful. Okay. Go here. Get Olgrim, get Olgrim. Get that Devotion Shrine. This devotion shrine first, and that's where we're gonna start working on turtle for the hardcore stuff. Just go really defensive with my uh, devotions for now. I'm gonna be going this way anyway. Crystals are nice. Marrow band, pet ring. I will never get that ring when I'm doing a uh, pet playthrough. Okay, so let's go get Algrim first. Now I can have boots for my rare boots at least. Move along now, stranger. Uh, side of all of them. Move right here. Move right here. My skills not ready. Okay, let's go get all of them. Uh, that's a uh, celestial totem, it's not a totem we can actually get to. I mean, technically speaking, siding with uh, the other guy is better for a dual wield pistol build because he gets a special blueprint that he only he can make. Um. I need some attack speed. I can't 
do that yet. All right, tell him about the prison. Be. Totem. Clear the area out. Bleeding poison, elemental damage, elemental resistance, offensive ability, big damage upgrade, bigger damage upgrade in my offhand, and it's attack speed, offensive ability, damage to lightning. Swap this to main hand. Uh, elemental chaos. Uh, skill cooldown reduction. Elemental damage. But no aether res. So aether res is better right now. No shield. I don't care. Okay. Gloves and celerity. Don't care. Okay, so let's. Hmm. Yeah, I went the wrong way. Oh well. Leave a portal here and go up to the next area. I mean, the lightning bolt's nice. I think there's one more. Yeah. yeah it can be. I'm gonna use the rare boots instead of the green boots I have right now, probably. I might keep these boots in my inventory and specifically not change them into, like, change them when I get to Warden Creed. Because, uh, they don't have movement speed on them, but the, the other boots have movement speed but don't have Aether Res on them, as far as I remember. I can't do that yet. 
Hey, freeze. Continue forward. First, we get the cultist orders in here. Depending on killing uh, the guy, because his aether form, like in Cronley's hideout, is a kind of tough early on, so I might kill him in this one. Because if you kill him, he won't show up in uh, Cronley's hideout. Fabric, one there. Is there any in here? Step two. up here. The lightning bolt adds a whole level of, uh, what's it called, AOE to this. It's almost worth restarting when the game's like this. <laughs> like, cause this run is such a bunch of in here. All the spiders. Drop your portal there and go get the next waypoint. That's the best way to do this. Oh. 
my kid's favorite thing right now is jumping. He loves it. He loves to jump. I should be close to like level 16, 17 by the time I uh, finish today's play session. These are like blippy compilation playlists. It's like how to keep your toddler entertained for like an hour. The problem is he's seen almost every one of them at this point because this is all Reina uses. What? This is what do you want to need to go? Alright, so we'll get this uh, thing. Uh, of course, we're gonna clean the area first before we have to go to the shrine and get an adventure. The apprentice, but she's more important than the adventure themselves. And we'll go back. We also need to get a medic. Uh, so we can get that bonus XP from the metal. Buy the metal before we turn in any of the quests. So we still haven't gotten one. Aether Elemental. Uh, that's just a better version of the one I got. So corrosion instead of spines, but yep, that's great. Alright, body armor, we're gonna need body armor. Um, elemental resistance instead of pierce resistance, which is nice. Casting speed we don't need. Elemental damage is also a bonus. Uh, let's put something on it. Oh, we've got this actually for the necklace. Mm, do I have the HP thing? I do not. Let's put one of these on the thing. Okay. I should have put this on the uh, necklace, that's fine, no. I'll put that on the middle. Okay, let's go free her. Alright, let's go back to town. Get me a metal, turn in all these quests. Hopefully there's a metal with resistances. Or uh what's it called? Stats? Resistances or stats are the good things I want. I don't need the damage types. Phys physique spirit no. Physique health regen. Lightning resist, nah. Yet. 
I'm just resetting the vendor. I know it's not really worth it, but. Uh, okay, uh, I did my skills. One point here, two points here. So, the next level would be one point. I put one point in vigor, which gives me bonus health, and then chilling rounds. And then I'll start just pumping points. I'll pump two points into chilling rounds and then one point into the far. Um, and I'll leave uh, Word of Renewal alone for now. Let's also do my devotion. Uh, we're going to go into Turtle next. Okay, let's go back. That should. Yes, 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 let's go. What do we have? We have cunning offensive ability. I'll probably I might take that one if I don't have another one. Stats plus experience. That mm, yeah, I'll probably end up taking that one because it's a little bit better than the flat cunning. Cunning, lightning, and poison resistance plus 83 energy, 68 health. 5% offensive ability. Mm. That one's nice too. But flat stats experience versus cunning and offensive ability is kind of nice too, though. Because that'll help me with my crits. 3% cunning versus 6% cunning plus flat cunning. Or. Health. Mm. Poison res might be nice to have though. Let's go with the cunning for now, or the flat stats, because it's nice to always have flat stats. Mm. Okay. Alright, let's try in all these quests. I see that my lady is. Friendly at Devil's Crossing. Oh, what did you break? Uh, no. 8% health, that's pretty nice. 9% physique. Yeah, those are fine. Okay. Have you found a rift? Why did I come to him first? What do you want? That skill is not ready. What's with all the I tr Have you found a good work? There have been warden crew. In the warden's life. Listening to his stories restores your constitution. It's not really that bad. Wow, uh, did you break that? Daddy, no. Daddy, no. Yes, you did. Uh, so I'm not 17 yet. I thought I'd be closer. We got a few aether crystals, so let's return this point and put it into turtle. So this gives me health defensive ability, and I'm just working towards this. I get the uh, the shield because it's nice damage absorption. Uh, let's do one, two, and then save two points. Mm. When I hit level 20, this is a good. Chest armor, so it's elemental resistance, eighth resistance, vitality resistance, health. Um, can't wear it yet though. All right, let's go check my how much my aether. My aether's only at thirty-one percent. Ouch. Mm. 
So fire damage, movement speed. Hmm. Percent spirit, offensive ability. Fire resistance, flame patch. Just use these for now. Some more movement speed. Keep these just in case. Keep this. Health. Health is nice. Okay. Alright, uh, that's going to be it for this play session. Um, we'll continue next time. Bye.